Hey Gemini and Libra, this little video here is just for you. I just did your readings and I realized um, that I read this card in a different way. The Six of Pentacles, this is a very Libra card. This is about balance. This is about all the good works that you do for others coming back to you. However, in the Libra and Gemini reading, I read it like the Six of Wands, the victorious warrior coming home. And um, when I realized that, I almost redid the readings, but I felt very strongly in my intuition to leave them because the messages for each sign were so strong and clear. So I feel like what Spirit wanted from this is to show you that this is a victory um, with money, with your earthly life. Um, and it does have to do with the good things that you've done. However, you've been having to be a warrior and you will be victorious. So I, I, that's what I got from Spirit after I realized that I used this card like the Six of Wands instead of the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Wands is the, the victorious warrior come home. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is the Friends deck. It's a new deck today. So when I looked at Joey here, he just seemed like that victorious warrior. And, you know, sometimes Spirit does that. You will just be moving along with your intuition and I will just say something that, you know, I have to look back on. And that's when I know that it was spirit that really just sort of took over here and made that distinction. So there is a victory. You will be celebrated and it's going to bring you a lot of money. There you go, Gemini and Libra. Thanks so much. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you're new... I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information are, is in the description box below. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome. Um, I usually have a theme, but today I didn't really, I wasn't prepared to, I don't know, I just, I've been really busy. But the only thing I could think of is that I really wanted to use my sister's uh, Friends deck. Uh, the TV show Friends is so awesome. We quote from it all the time. It's practically a, another language in my family here. So um, I'm going to be using that deck, uh, but, uh, you know, since I went shopping in my sister's decks, uh, <laughs> I'm also going to use the Angels of Abundance Oracle deck, which is my sister's. Um, and this is my deck, the Ascended Masters. I'm using it because it has uh, masculines and feminines in here, just like, just like friends. Um, and I'm also going to be pulling a card from the Sacred Mothers and Goddesses deck, which is also my sister's. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, Gemini. What is up with Gemini? Love Geminis. I'm a Gemini moon, and my son is a Gemini. My niece is a Gemini. I have some awesome friends who are Geminis. Love Gemini energy. You guys are awesome. wounded warrior energy you may have been fighting some battles but you're ready to go you're ready for a new one oh, okay when it comes out like that i'll just kind of want to leave it like that let's see what else comes out five more please i ask for the the cards because sometimes they just give me so many king of swords oh he wants to be up Holy moly, the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> That's Joey. Joey and Chandler right next to each other. One's a king and one is different kind of independent. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Thank you so much. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got the Hanged Man and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so those are energies that are matching, okay? So I believe what's going on here is this Knight of Pentacles is clarifying this Hanged Man. Now, Major Arcana is all about your soul's blueprint, the reason your soul came here. Um, the Minor Arcana, since you know, such as Knights and Kings and all that, those suits, those are Minor Arcana. And that's, uh, to me as a reader, that's all about your uh, 3D life, okay? 
So your life has been in suspension right now. You may have even had to sacrifice something so that you can have this stillness um, and you're waiting for some sort of epiphany, okay? But you're, you're moving very slowly, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, but that is because he does, he or she does everything correctly. So by the time they get to where they're going, um, everything has been done perfectly. The Knight of Pentacles is the one knight who is most likely to become king because of how meticulous he, it, he or she is when it comes to doing the job right, okay? So you have made a sacrifice. Your life is somewhat in suspension, um, but you are still moving. You're moving a little slowly, but you're doing it right, okay? You're doing it right. King of Swords energy, Aquarius energy, but also this could be you here, Gemini. Um, your masculine energy is, uh, you know, you're, sometimes the King of Swords can be very cold, but what I'm feeling from Chandler here is his intelligence, okay? Chandler, what he does is um, for a living is statistics. So, that you know, that's mathematics. He, he's pretty um, intelligent. Um, you know, you don't have to be like super intelligent, you know, for mathematics and stuff. But, you know, I took statistics in, in college and um, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> to me, he's, this is what he's, he's saying because, you know, um, us air signs, I'm a Libra, our air signs are, um, it's all about intellect, okay? So I believe, even though this is the card of Aquarius, this is you right now, and you're using your masculine energy. So whether you're a man or a woman, your masculine energy is putting you into this king, this um, royal energy that you've got going here. You're being stoic. You're being strong. You are living by your truth. The swords are all about truth. You are speaking your truth and you, I'm feeling immovable. You, you've made a decision and you're not getting out of your chair. You're going to continue doing what you need to do. However, your six of pentacles haven't, hasn't come in just yet. So what happened here is that you, your life is kind of in suspension right now. And that's why, that's why I was getting, you're just sitting there. Okay. Now the six of pentacles, um, you normally when you get a pentacle card in the reverse, it's that, you, you know, it, it's a negative message about money. But what, what we've got here is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So this is just taking a long time. So I just feel like the Six of Pentacles is going to flip eventually. And what that is, is the, the warrior, the celebrated warrior coming home victorious with lots of money. Okay. So I believe that that's where you're going here. He's moving towards this, but right now you're not really moving very much because you, your life is in some sort of suspension. However, like I said, when this card flips, because I think it's going to, um, well, I really feel it because look at this. You've got this nine of pentacles. This is independence. This is when Joey has, you know, he, he was a very poor person. He had hardly any money. And then when he got that um, job on days of our lives, he became independent. He didn't need Chandler to live with him anymore. And look at him. He's got an Oscar. He's got awards. This is you, um, having become victorious with your money. This is you. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. We got, oh, holy moly, you've got the 10 of pentacles in the upright. Nine, 10. Okay, you're going to be independent and you're going to have, this could be an inheritance even. Um, but this is your happy home. This is the people that you've come from. This is, you know, whether this is your blood family, this is your ancestry. I feel like you are independent from um, any negative ancestry. I feel like you have distanced yourself. You have, you know, sometimes I call the king of swords the big chap. Okay, because he cuts stuff out of it when he, especially when he's in the upright, he cuts stuff out of his life that is negative, that he doesn't need. Um, he's gone on a journey. You're on this journey here. Okay. And it's towards this uh, victorious warrior energy. And you are obviously going to get there. And this is a windfall of money. Okay. You could receive an inheritance. I don't see any death cards here, but this, you know, it, it, like for the death of a, um, a family member or something, but this is lots of money. Okay. This, you, you could get a new job and this is your signing bonus. 
you know, this could be you, um, I, mean, I don't see any like chance here or anything. I see methodicalness. So I wouldn't say that this is like, um, winning the lottery. This is something that you did. This is something, this is a journey that you took that you, you decided to go slow and do it the right way. And now you're going to, uh, abundance, complete abundance, um, independence you don't need anybody anymore okay the star bottom of the deck this is all this is aquarius energy again so there's this is the card of aquarius and so is this this is the minor arcana card of aquarius and this is the major card and what we've got is chandler and monica and that is a divine couple Okay, so that could end up for you because this, what's going on for you, because if when you're independent, that's, you know, when you've got everything together, people call it getting your shit together. And that's normally when, you know, people will get married and things like that, or maybe not normally, but, you know, a time when people decide, okay, now I'm independent. Now I can start building my house. Now I can start building my life. There's going to be a lot of healing here on and wish fulfillment. Okay, for some of you, you may even become an actual star. Okay, if you are like Joey, and you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this. And, oh, look at his Oscar. <laughs> yeah, you guys, there's a lot of you. You might even become stars. He's got Oscars here, and he's holding his Oscar. Okay, wish fulfillment and healing. I mean, you really can't get much better than this. This is incredible. Independent and healed. And it's because you're doing it right, Gemini. You guys are smart. I mean, you know, my son is one smart guy. And so is my niece. She is very, very smart. And, you know, all, actually all of my, I have another friend. She is just so smart and, and dynamic as well. You guys are just, you know what you're doing, you know? You, you guys are very intellectual. You are intellectuals. This is royal energy. But this is not just royal. Okay, that what they're showing me right now, my guides are showing me his crown. And then how this is also Chandler. Um, this is also a spiritual crown. Your, your crown chakra is going to open up. You will, you will be royal... Um, be, you will have royal energy here on earth and in the ether and in spirit. Okay. Let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Okay? Now, this can be overthinking, you know, really being in your head. Um, but maybe what you've been doing is meditating, contemplating. This is, this is waiting for the epiphany. This is meditation. Okay? So I, I don't feel like it's overthinking. But when it comes to negative stuff like guilt, um, whenever you do something for yourself, don't be guilty. You deserve every good thing that you do for yourself, okay? Bottom of the deck, detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive okay now when they say inspiring generous generous and supportive that doesn't always mean like with money people can be generous with their time by listening to others by you know supporting them being there for them doesn't have that it doesn't have everything to do with money okay being supportive and generous because it looks like you know you you've got a lot of <laughs> Um, a lot of money here, okay? You're going to be fine. So, you know, you may have had to take a journey away from others. Sometimes we have to leave our 
blood family or the family that um, raised us, sometimes we have to leave them and go on our own personal journey. Um, not just move out of the house when you're young, you know, it's sometimes it's it's this whole I got to do things my way. Um, even if it's against the wishes of what my family would want for me or what they feel comfortable with me doing or whatnot. It's following your heart because you're you're letting go of the guilt of giving to yourself. It, when you stop um, not doing things for yourself because of what other people might think or how they might feel about you doing it, that is going to give you rewards. This, you know, spirit is just going to reward you for that because you are spirit. You Spirit is... Um, a big part of you and when you respect you when you give to you you are respecting and giving to spirit and so when you do that what is spirit going to do it's going to reflect that right back right let it go okay let it go whatever happened whatever you feel guilty about whatever happened in the past um let it go especially if uh there is an apology going on here okay there could be there could be an apology coming in from this Knight of Pentacles, but um, it can also mean stuff like that. But this is this is your journey. You're doing everything right. So whatever happened before, let it go. Quan Yin is um, like the Chinese version of Mary. Okay, she's very compassionate and she's kind, and that's what um, that is what's going to bring you true healing here. Okay, because. This is a major arcana card. This is going to heal your soul. You know, this is what true healing is, is right down to your soul. Oh, wow. And it's just going to be pure joy. All of your chakras will be cleared. You're going to feel like him. You're going to shine like the sun. You're going to eat well. But you're, you see his prayer beads? You'll never forget spirit again. Never. Always include spirit, God, whatever you want to call the energy. That is um, our source. It's it's coming. And remember, you know, there's there's you can get away from people who are toxic, but sometimes you heal them by standing up for yourself. Sometimes they go, Wow, I, I didn't realize that and, and especially I didn't realize that you felt that strongly about that. Okay. So when you're angry, that's making you kind of toxic to them as well because when, when you're thinking about somebody in an angry way, what you're doing is you're sending them that energy. And, you know, I've watched, watched some videos of people who had near-death experiences and they're talking about how uh, one person said that she just was so conscious. that They did the life review and she was so conscious of how negative she would think about people and that's what they show you. What were you thinking about this person? What kind of energy were you sending them? You know, and she said that was the worst thing is knowing how I was being so negative towards those people who loved me. Okay, so wow, what a beautiful card. This reminds me of um, a very lovely uh, reader on on um, YouTube here. She's, she's in Greece. I watch her often. Anyway, this is Vesna, Awakening and victory. Okay, so here's what I'm feeling. Yeah, your spirit is awakening. You're awakening to the magic that's within you, how to manifest, and um, and, and self-love. This is a huge leap in self-love for yourself. This is a huge leap in your wish fulfillment and healing and in your earthly life. And so you're awakening to your spiritual connection with yourself, with your soul. And what that does is bringing victory soul-wise and on earth. Holy moly. I think you're going to let it go because you've got this just this beautiful energy going on here. All right. So um, like so what I'm trying to say here with detox your friendships is detox yourself when it comes to your friendships as well. But if somebody is toxic and they don't want to work on themselves, that's when you distance them. OK. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you at this time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.